This conference will now be recorded. Hi guys, good evening all of you. So well, let me start the enterprise structure. So yesterday we have started the main uh, topic uh, that is enterprise structure. Already I shared you the notes. So uh, you can directly uh, you know make a Xerox copy and uh, keep a spiral padding or else you know you keep uh, in a separate folder in your laptop uh, for your reference. Okay, so anything is possible as per your convenience. So uh, I have started a new topic in SAP MM, materials management, which is nothing but enterprise structure. So enterprise structure consists of uh, client and uh, company, company code and uh, you know plant and uh, storage location, right? And what else? Purchasing organization and purchasing group. Okay. But as a MM consultant, our work starts from creation of plant. Okay, but as of now, we are creating company and company code, and uh, in real time, company and company code is created by FICO consultant. FI stands for finance, CO stands for controlling. So FI CO, FICO consultant, they will create, uh, you know, they will customize, they will implement the company and company code in real time. Okay. And uh, client, uh, who will create client? Uh, client is created by basis consultant. Okay, let me uh, let me show you the topics here. You know, like uh, where we are. The question. So company and company code in real time is created by Pico consultant. So your question is why? So again, why we are preparing company and company code now? Yeah. Because without company and company code, we are creating, you know, company and we are creating company code. Uh, because uh, that is a sequence, right? That is called enterprise structure. So here, enterprise structure also called organization structure, okay? And company code and client is here. Client is three-digit memory uh, code, and this is created by uh, basis consultant, right? So here say how to check the client, uh, so here I'll show you how to play, uh, so already client is there, but you know, to check the client, just to click here and you can see here client 800, okay. So client is uh, created by uh, basis consultant in real time, okay, and uh, enterprise structure starts with client, okay. So here we have, uh, we have seen this uh, client, you know, and uh, this just go through what is the features of a client you know this i already mentioned here and the company and company code also is there uh, so here you know uh, company is in real time prepared by people consultant okay um, yeah. so this is what and uh, yeah so uh, company also we we have created company yesterday Tata right and after company and company code is also created. company you know maximum uh, characters is six digit with one digit also you can create a company right like one or a it's alphanumeric but the maximum what SAP has given is uh, six so we have created the company yesterday and we have created the company code that is PASL Tata Salt. Okay. And so now today what we are going to do is uh, we are going to create the plant. Okay. So which is our area, MM consultant area. So this is what a difference, you know, what exactly we do. The implementation part done by MM consultant. Okay. Implementation part. Okay. And also FICO consultant, they create another part of accounting activity like they create a general ledger account. Which is called a GL account, okay? And uh, they uh, they create a company company code in enterprise structure, okay? But uh, every every people do their work, okay? Like for example, SD consultant, okay? I'll just give an example what SD consultant will do in enterprise structure, okay? So enterprise structure, uh, it's a team work, okay? So here enterprise structure, see here, client uh, uh, is created by a basis consultant which is called as technical consultant okay and company is created by people consultant which is a six digit so i have given here five digit w i p r o one two three four five okay 
and uh, one also can be useful is alphanumeric okay and company code in real time is again created by uh, Pico consultant and now our work starts as MM consultant creation of a plant and creation of storage location okay and the creation of purchasing organization and creation of purchasing group this is our area okay so in interview they may ask uh, you know, have you configured uh, implementation of enterprise structure so they may ask interview you say yes so uh, they ask you yeah what you have done in enterprise structure what you have customized don't tell the interviewer that i have created the client i have created the company i have created the company code no never because in real time who will create this company and company code pico consultant okay so if you are saying that i have created company and i have created company code then you know the interview will be in doubt how come as a mm consultant you have configured company and company code okay so don't ever tell this type of uh, answers okay when they ask it so you can tell like this you know in enterprise structure i have configured or i have implemented plans okay uh, plans as implemented storage locations okay i have implemented the purchasing organization and i have customized or implementation both are same i have customized the purchasing group that it makes a sense okay as an consent okay so here yesterday we have created company and we have created company code and now today we are going to create a plant okay plant is nothing but a manufacturing unit okay so here i have already given you how you know spoon feeding these uh, nodes you know i have created i have put a lot of effort you know uh, this or okay Yeah, can you able to hear me? Yes, sir. Hello. Yeah. So, yes, sir. Uh, yeah, you can see the screen, right? Yeah. So, what I'm saying is, uh, like, uh, we in SAP we have more than seventy modules, right? So, all the module consultant implementation our area implementation project, you know, like our area where we implement the transition code is SPRO. S stands for SAP. SAP SAP, P stand for project, R stand for reference, O stand for object, SPRO. This is purely this authorization access is given for all the consultants by basis uh, consultant, okay, who is a technical guy. So, usually, basis consultant in real time, what, what is the their activity? They will provide how many transition codes to be given to uh, consultants and how many transition codes to be given to end users who are working in a company who are using uh, SAP software okay uh, so those end users they don't have SPRO access the basis consultant they will block this transition code why because this is purely given to consultants not the end users because this is the programming part okay if they try to add a smart let's say the end user is trying to put SPRO here and entering. So what he will get, he will get the message, you don't have authorization here, okay? You don't have authorization to use this transition code. That means the basis consultant has blocked this transition code because this is our area, consultant area, not the end user area, okay? Why? Because they go inside and they do something mischief and again in the whole programming part uh, you know the one year maybe or 10 months or nine months whatever we have done the implementation we spend a lot of time they will they will misuse that and they will you know uh, destroy the whole programming okay so that's the reason this spro transition code is never given to end users okay you got it so here see now spro i'm entering here now what to do to so here creation of plan i'm given spro and then you know, Click this SAP reference IMG. IMG stands for implementation guide. Okay, so here SAP reference IMG, and then what else you know? So you are given each and every part here. SAP reference IMG, then enterprise structure, then definition, logistic general. Okay, so here see 
I'm doing the same way. Enterprise structure, okay. So don't click this. This is the something documentation bond as you know. Whenever you have time, just go through this. Click this here. So you will be understanding more in detail, you know, what is exactly enterprise structure, okay. Whenever you have time, just go through this see here. Enterprise structure in this section, you will learn how to portray the specific automation structure of your business in R3. R3 stands for real time three tire architecture. SAP is R3. R3 means client and server architecture. That is called as R3. Real time three tire, T I E R. Real time three tire architecture. So client and server architecture. Okay. So whenever you have time, just go through this documentation part. But you know, don't click this. You just click this arrow button. Okay. And you uh, go to definition part and then logistic general. Okay. Everything I've mentioned there how to create a plan. Okay. So now here it is right. So define copy delete check plan. So here you can see my notes. Define copy delete check plan. Okay. And the transition code if you want to directly uh, go through the transition code also that's well and good for extend okay this is the menu part so in interview they may ask uh, menu part also or they sometimes they may have the transition code also how to implement how to create the new plant in sap as a mm consultant so they may expect you know both sometimes you know it's a mood depends upon the mood of the consult, uh, interviewer you know if they if they ask uh, okay boss don't tell the transition code okay tell the menu part so you should remember this SPRO, SAP reference and the enterprise structure, definition, logistic general, define copy delete check plan, okay. Or sometimes they may ask, okay, tell me boss, what is the transition code? So in that case, you know, to extend with the transition code. So let me show you that this is so how many sessions we can open at a time. As I told you, six, right? So let me open another session here and let me check whether OX10 exists or not. So OX10 is the transition code to create a plan, okay? So here see, it's working. So your wish, you know, because uh, OX10, if you know the transition code, it is saving your time because uh, uh, through the menu part, it will take some time, right? See, change, view, plan, okay? So this is working. So your wish, uh, okay? So both are working. So uh, we are doing with the menu part, right? So here, define copy delete check plan i'm going here and uh Prakash, yesterday what you have written where where is iftakhar iftakhar is not there iftakhar. he has written, has written yesterday right iftakhar is from big college so basically he's an ethical engineer he passed uh, engineering in 2014 iftakhar uh, let me call him what happened to this guy? Okay, so here, uh, so what, uh, Prakash, yesterday, plant, what kind of plant we have? I told if they had to write, right? Note it off. So, do you have an idea what type of plant if they had as noted? Yeah. Okay, anyways, uh, I think you have not noted down. Why is, see, here, why I am saying is, is already I have created this, right? Already I have created this enterprise structure. So again, it, will, it won't allow me. I have created Vipro already in my system, in my SAP system. Again, I cannot create a Vipro again, right? It's a common sense. So instead of this Vipro, what we have done is yesterday we have, I have created a Tata 01 company. And here company code TASL, that is nothing but Tata Salt. Another, I told you to do homework like a TAST, Tata Steel, right? TAST, this was your homework. I don't know whether you people have done or not. But here TASL, Tata Salt, and here plant I have I have told him something, you know, he has noted down. One second, let me call it the car. Let me go to this guy, yeah.
Yeah, so he's not getting the call. Okay, no issue. So here, uh, yeah, Prakash, you noted down uh, this plan, you know, uh, and also Hamza, why you also noted down. Uh, so here, you know, our company uh, which I have created in my system is TA TA01 Tata. Okay, just you uh, type it, you you note it down in your notebook. With it. Okay, so you just write here enterprise structure and client will write it same triple zero and company what you do is instead of this withdrawal you just type in capital letter ta ta zero one okay and here company code uh, you just uh, write here instead of Vico, this is nothing but the computers but uh, you people can practice this because uh, in your system you have not created Vico, right but in my system i have already created in my earlier class okay that's the reason i cannot uh, uh, do the same again okay so here company code just to make it uh, TASL data salt okay and salt. here you you just uh, company code, same design you put the same design okay and uh, even Jyoti Prakash uh, you Sorry. also do okay yeah so here you know you just uh, make it uh, uh, TA TA01 okay and here TASL and here uh, data salt and here TAST steel data steel okay Yes, the data steel you can put it under the company code and plan to what will you is uh, uh that means if you want to automate it there so ta tap uh, no tas1 tata salt one okay tas1 and TAS1. another uh, tas2 what on this tas1 ts2 two plans you can create you know if you know how to create a one plan multiple plans you can able to create uh, the only funda is you know you know you should know how to create the plan in sap okay so uh, if you know one then you can able to create uh, more than 10 or 100 also but in real time you know uh, you'll be having number of plans okay because uh, uh, some company they do business globally by using sap globally means uh, they have uh, plants in so many countries right so you have to create many plants as a consultant First, you have to see the business requirement and you know you have to uh, propose the client you know that you're going to create this much of client for so and so region okay uh, so what i mean to say is uh, as of now i have created only two plans so um, and then you know come to story location what we can do is uh, t s that is on t s s1 okay make it t s s1 okay and here tss2 for this uh, plan and again here tss3 and tss4 okay make it note on this because as accordingly i am going to create this okay so tss1 tss2 tss3 tss4 okay so two storage location for this plant and another two storage location for this plant okay and then again you know coming like this so purchasing organization uh, you just uh, make it as instead of wp01 uh, <coughs> ta p1 okay ta p1 and this is ta p2 for another plan so make it ta p1 ta p2 okay both of you note it down in a notebook and then purchase group you make it uh, so it's Hamza and uh, Prakash you know so HAM okay HAM stand for three receive this is three digit right three digit alphanumeric so we can take all maximum three so HAM stand for Hamza and here uh, PRA Prakash okay for this note down this now as it is we are going to create now we are now telling what plan we have given two plans right so go to new entries okay go to new entries and uh, give what is the plan yeah i'm coming t t a s1 t a tata salt one t a s1 okay so you do here name tata Let's say this uh, is situated in negative. Okay. Uh, here, uh, just 
click this this other part. See everything I mentioned here in my notes. Okay, uh, the creation of plan. You can just go through this uh, here. See, double click copy delete check plan. Already we have done this and copy or copy it. And from plan to plan. Okay, so uh, this is there. First, uh, I'm trying to go here and click this other bar and select this company. Okay, and here you just write Tata Salt Plant One. Okay, Plant Tree is nothing but a manufacturing unit. It's nothing but a factory. Okay, T A S One. Tata Salt One. T A S One, right? Yeah. Many button. And here, search PS1. And let it be here. Sometimes. Seven. And let it be India and region India one. Okay. So, see, filter. So, here, we have created one plan. Okay. And save it. So, you will get. You will get a customizing request number which is nothing but the implementation you know from a number again click this and button so you will be getting this okay so enterprise structure just click continue button so another plan uh, what was that see here data was saved now we need to create another plan so what i'm doing is uh, just go back okay and again click new this and uh, what was that another p a s2 right s2 yes. yes, yeah yeah tata sol tata sol plan 2 okay so just write p a s2 and uh, let it be this in uh, uh, region error column And uh, here again, click this address bar and take it to the company. Doctor, I mean, doctor, it is lab. You know, you can just uh, take uh, whatever as for the company. So, here, Tata Sol Plan 2. So, here, PA S2 Vijayanagar Kali. So, here, PA S2. And here, here, and then PC. India region, you know, under Pradesh. So actually, it's not under Pradesh because you know, in SAP, what happened is uh, uh, recently Telangana Andhra got separated, right? So this data is not available. Actually, in demo version, the speciality of uh, SAP is like you know, whatever country you select, the regions will come automatically by default. This is given by SAP Germany itself. Okay. No one has done this programming, so such a great uh, thing, you know. Like here, uh, Tamil Nadu is the Tripura, is the Telangana state is not there. So here, you know, uh, how to create a separate region? This I will cover up in vendor master topic. Okay, creation of vendor and uh, um, configuration of vendor master. In that, you know, I I will show you how to create a separate region, Telangana state. As of now. We have under Pradesh, okay. So, suppose if you select the US, United States, so we have 50 states, right, in US. So, the speciality see here once you select this, the whole 50 states will be appearing here. See here, see Alaska, Alabama, Arkansas, Arizona, California, Colorado, okay, Florida, Georgia. So, whatever country you select, the region will be appearing by default, okay. So, uh, I'm selecting this India. I am and zero one is the under position. Okay. okay. So here uh, I'm just like clicking this continue button and trying to save this. Okay. So two again if this is coming then again you need to click this. Don't uh, click this otherwise this will uh, not get saved. Okay. So you need to correct correct this one. Data was saved. So here. I have uh, created uh, two plans and now what I need to do is go back two times, okay. Now you need to double click this copy delete check plan, see here it is. In my notes I have mentioned copy delete check plan, double click copy delete check plan, okay. So here I have double click this area and just go here 
copy our object see it is there in my notes okay copy our object f6 button okay so here if you're not understanding then just click f6 button see here it is f6 okay so click this so in sap we have the database database is from oracle the backend so we need to as a functional consultant we are not doing any rocket science right we don't we are not uh, uh, you know uh, giving any coding decoding part to create its uh, plan okay but what we are doing as a functional consultant the database is already available if you purchase sap from germany also they will maintain some database right because until unless uh, database is there you cannot copy and paste right so in real time the database will be triple zero one germany world of the capital of germany world of okay so here but in demo version you also have triple zero one but uh, uh, usually we take uh, new york 3000 why we take uh, new york because uh, in demo version 3000 new york database is very effective very good that's the reason we are selecting the 3000 database okay so copy from 3000 and copy to which is which we are going to choose the plan that is the TAS one, okay. And again, we do the same thing for TAS two also. So database, whatever it is there in three thousand plan, that is going to get copied in TAS one as well as TAS two. Any doubt? Anyone? No sir, no doubt. Okay. Yeah. So from plan. So as I'm as I'm saying, so we are saying triple zero one is also there. In real time, triple zero one will be there. But as of now, let me show you. See triple zero one. World of is the capital of Germany. So this we are we will copy from this. Okay. But as of now, we are copying from three thousand because as I told you, the data is very strong. Three thousand is in New York. Okay. New York. So copy from 3000 and to plant uh, we give our uh, plant okay what is the TAS uh, one right uh, TAS one right uh, TSL yes TAS one or TASL that was all I think TASL right what you have uh, written here in the notes yeah Prakash Plant two plants now. So plant M T A S L T A S one. T A S one. T A S L I think. T A S one. T A S one. Okay. T A S one. Okay. Yeah. So click continue button. See here. Um, I mentioned here from plant to plant. So you can take as it is WCP one because uh, you in your system you don't have this. But already I have. I have uh, configured that's the reason I'm not I'm not selecting this okay I'm taking different one so you'll get this data already exists so just click yes now this is the database see here transport number ranges and addresses whatever is there in 3000 e or that uh, all information uh, that is copied to our plant TA S1 this is what functional consultant will do there are ABAPR, they are the technical guy, SAP ABAP, Advanced Business Application Programming. ABAP stands for Advanced Business Application Programming. They will do the coding, you know, they should know Java, C, C, you know, .NET. So they have spent the whole life in coding, decoding only, and no salary will get increased. Whereas functional consultants have a good opportunity, like, you know, once you have got a good uh, uh, you know, knowledge uh, after working in a company for three years uh, then again what you will do you try to learn another functional module let's say mm related what wm there was management there is another module called as sap wm so that is related interrelated with uh, mm so what you will do in future you will try to learn wm also so you will become multi-functional consultant and also the salary will get increased Whereas these pe these people, ABAPers, they will spend their whole life in coding, decoding, and no salary increment, nothing. They cannot become multi-technical consultant because only one technical part above they are doing the whole, they are spending the whole life. Okay. 
So my colleagues, what I have seen is, you know, like they worked uh, as a paper for five years. Some people, you know, they work for seven years, and they got tired, stating their course, no, this is not our future, not like you know, no growth, nothing. Only we are doing coding, decoding. So they completely wind up uh, uh, technical abap, and they came in SAP functional side. So I told them, oh, boss, why you came in functional? They, they told uh, simple, you know, they told that. Functionally, you can uh, uh, do other, uh, uh, you know, area, other model. You can able to learn also like MM. So in future, again, you know, after two to three years, one get one getting a good grip in this subject, then you learn a table of their own management. And again, after two three years, again, you know, you can uh, move to uh, uh, other part like PP production planning. So multifunctional and the salary here, you know, one of my colleague. Mamsi Wogiti, he stays in ECI. He is my ex colleague. You know, where we work together in Hyper Technocrat in Nagpur. You know, where we have implemented an MRCL. It's a MMRCL, Maharashtra Metro Rail Corporation Limited. It's such a big, a huge project. You know, uh, the client uh, they got, uh, uh, you know, which is the client of Hyper Technocrat. So we used to work together, and that guy he is a multi-functional consultant. He know SAP QM quality management. And he know SAP PP and he know SAP ML. And now, right now, he is working in Infosys with a package of 30 lakhs per annum. <laughs> that is what a specialty, right? So, what I mean to say is, you know, like first try to get one grip, you know, in one subject and try to get a job in MM, and then you know, afterwards, uh, slowly and steadily, you can able to learn other area also, other functional uh, module also, so that in future you can become a multifunctional consultant. Okay, so anyways, uh, now here I'm clicking this continue button. Yeah, so TA S1 already exists. Why? Because already we have created a company uh, plan, right? Right. So here, just click this S button. So plan 3000 completed to TS1. So whatever database is there in 3000 that was copied to our plan. Okay, see so here plan 3000 copy to TS1. Similarly, what you need to do is uh, again if you uh, go back, okay, and one of the database is left right. Again, double click this and again click this and again copy from and copy to. So again, view 3000 or else you can view TAS1 also because that is there right now, right? That is copy. So you can either take uh, 3000 from plan or you can take TAS1 also. So you can take a TAS1 from 2 TAS2 or else you know from 3000 to TAS2. That is also fine. Let me close this. Yeah. So this is this database is getting copied 17 percent of associated tables whatever database is there in 3000 that will get copied to our plant okay but that is not in started so in real time you know uh, within seconds uh, this will get created but this is demo version that's why this is very slow but uh, once you start working in a company it, uh, within seconds you know the big big servers and you know very good uh, laptops will be there so this is our home laptop, you know, this is mine, is uh, 500 GB of uh, <laughs> uh, hard disk and 4 GB RAM, that's why this is very slow. I purchased this Dell laptop uh, when I was in Chicago in 2012, so from that time on until now also this is running by the grace of Almighty. Okay, so here from land, you know, like I am taking, uh, I either I can take a TAS1, or uh, because already it is there, right? Uh, to plan, I can take TAS2. Okay, this is also possible. Or else you can type with 3000 to TS. Both are possible. Now I can click yes button. Okay, and this database is getting copied to TS2. Okay, this is getting copied. And then at last, don't click this one, okay? Otherwise, the whole part, whatever you have done, that will go waste. 
okay so you need to click this one continue button so you will be getting the message that uh, what's it then you should feel happy okay so here i can click this button so turn ts1 completed to ts2 i can click continue button if you want to check it out if you want to see just click this completed activities and you can see plan ts1 copy to ts2 okay so now we have created uh, two plans okay we have created two plans and now what we need to do is we need to create uh, two story locations different right uh, so like uh, what i mentioned here is uh, since we have created ts1 and ts2 and now what we are going to do is we are going to create a two story location for this ts1 and for ts2 plan we are going to create another two story location okay so now how to create the story location already i have given in my notes okay so here it is So creation of story location okay so here this is the menu path and also i have given you the transition code ox09 okay so anything you can use it okay so here i'm going to create a story location now so how to create it okay so here spro sap reference and already we are inside of display and the screen okay so now you need to go here materials management okay and maintain story location see here it is already there SPRO already we are inside SAP reference all IMG already we click this enterprise structure already we are in enterprise structure right so here see uh, this is enterprise structure okay so already it is open uh, and uh, then you know uh, definition and uh, materials management maintenance storage location okay so here uh, maintenance storage location click this and you need to queue the plant so what plant we have created uh, that is uh, ta uh, ta s from right uh, from the way uh, attached right so if you click this uh, you will be getting uh, some storage locations you know a lot of storage locations are there so can anyone tell me how come this got uh, this much of storage locations uh, uh, exist in here in our plan ts1 anyone any idea and uh, Jyoti Prakash. Yeah. No idea. Because we have copied at the time of creating the plan, we have copied from what? 3000, which is New York, right? So, US, US, so all database is there. So, what we need to do? We need to first delete these all, right? So, you need to select this all. Select all. How you click, select all? So, here. You need to click this this is select all and this is the red button you need to select this first to try to delete the database of uh, 3000 because we copied from right the 3000 so this this is getting copied to our plant ts1 which is wrong so what you need to do delete this all number of deleted entries 37 now what you need to do you just click new entries okay and now view the story location yeah tell me what story location you have given you have written here Prakash and uh, Hamza me. anyone tell me story location Calipian TSS1 am TSS. I right or wrong TSS1 right so you view here for this uh, TAS1 means uh, for this uh, uh, one plan so two story location are there right so here for this one plan uh, which is ts1 two story location we will do okay so tss1 right tata one. storage salt tata salt storage one tss2 so i'm doing here tata salt storage location one so it is not so we have here okay tata salt storage location two that's it Save it. So, what happened for this uh, Tata Salt, uh, Tata Salt uh, Plant One? Okay, story. We have given two story location. Again, what you need to what you need to do is you need to give addresses of the each story location, right? Storage location is something uh, at a warehouse. Go down, right? 
So in that case, what it is, what you need to do, you just select this, okay, and click addresses of student location. Click new address, okay. And here you can do anything like a zero one, and go and give the address of student location, address of go down. So T A T A Tata Salt Storage Location One, which is nothing but T S S One, okay. Let's say this uh, have the go down warehousing the Asif Nagar. Okay, T S S One. Here I'm giving Asif Nagar Police Station here. Uh, here I'm giving the pin code. Okay. All this information also in real time uh, you have to put it maintained accordingly. Okay, so blah blah blah. This is not a mandatory field, but also I'm giving this to you. Okay, and if you have any email address of the data card or fax number, okay, you need to fill it. So, the email address, let's say TSS uh, uh, one at the rate zero one dot com. Like this, I have maintained the address of this go down warehouse. Okay, now again, what you need to do is you go back, okay, you go back, and you need to select uh, another storage location. You need to select this, and again, click address of storage location, and again, click new things, okay, and here put zero two, okay, and here I can select this company, and now Tata Steel Tall. S two. So another go down that is the Malayalam. Yes. Okay, so here T S S two. Here Malayalam for you. And here uh, I'm doing this one. So that one can be the end. We can see one. Okay. Click it up and save now. Okay. And now you go back two times, three times, four times. Go back and again click maintain show location. And now you need to change the plant. So PAS1 and we are going to do TAS2, right? And again, this database is there. So what you need to do, select all. Okay. Delete. And I can put a new piece. Yeah, tell me now. TSS three TSS code, right? For this class yes, another. So TSS one. Sorry, TSS three. TSS uh, four. So data solve storage location three. And uh, data solve solve storage location four. Okay. So oh, plant is animation. The plant? So yeah, plant in the plant in the storage location is number. P S S. So you know P S S two M. You know you know that is. Storage location. You know that is sir. Storage location maximum code is it? That is alpha numeric chapter. That is. And the number. Malga is it? Malga is it? This is this is yellow one. That is how this happen is. Uh, before doing any implementation, we uh, we first to uh, take the confirmation from the client. Okay, store location means nothing but to go down. We need to tell them where also it's uh, it is a maximum four digits alpha numeric. So which kind of store location you need to uh, you know uh, are you giving us the uh, code or we need to uh, manage ourselves? Usually, you know they don't allow us to manage. They will only give the store location code. Alpha numeric code. Then only we need to put that code, okay, in real time. Understand? Okay, sir. Ah, now we need to give the address. So go here, click the address of storage location, new address, okay. And here put it zero three, and here again we select the uh, Tata Steel. So so Tata Sol storage location three, okay. T S S three. So Malayalam. 
Information you you will put uh, you must take the uh, information from the client okay you write it in the BBP business blueprint okay so either BBP you can prepare in Word or PPT PowerPoint presentation whatever it is as uh, per your convenience and uh, uh, like what you are exactly going to do so creation of story location so just put it. Uh, uh, you know, uh, first of you the some definition of story location, what exactly, is, so that the client need to understand, right? Uh, SAP terminology also they need to understand. They they know warehouse, okay? They know go down, but they don't know story location. So you need to explain it. Story location is nothing but uh, you know warehouse go down. So as per uh, it is a maximum say four digit alphanumeric code. So as per our discussion, you confirm that the story location for this man should be uh, TSS uh, one and TSS2 so we are going to implement TSS1 and TSS2 for the plant TAS1 okay and for another plant so you need to pay, make a business protein and you know the name of uh, uh, project manager and uh, uh, what to say CEO of that uh, client name will be there his signature will be there and uh, let's say Hamza is working in company okay Harley Davidson he is going to create a story location so uh, Hamza name will be there, okay. Uh, functional consultant, SAPMM functional consultant, his designation will be there, and whom he is working under, which project manager. So, project manager name will be there, okay. So, this all everything is documented, and you take a sign off from the client, then only you start doing implementation, okay. It doesn't mean that Jo Aya Dilme Banati Aisa Nihota, it's not like that, okay. So first you take a sign off, first you prepare the business blueprint, okay, and they will go through the documentation, okay, and if anything they want to make the changes in store location, because I don't need this four digit alphanumeric, I need to change this in store location, okay, let it be, okay, again you try to edit, and at last take a sign off, okay, otherwise they will only catch hold of you, because who has given you the permission to create the store location, they will ask you, okay, so if you have a handy document okay for each and every part you know you need to maintain you need to create a business blueprint okay and make a take a sign off uh, client signature will be there and consultant signature your project manager signatures will be there they will feel happy okay go now let it uh, you know let uh, implement the project then afterwards then only we you start using spro transition sap project reference object where we are doing the programming, where we are functionally, okay, without any coding and decoding, okay. So this is what in real time it is happening. So uh, let it be, you know, there's something blah blah blah. This all information the client will provide you, okay. Fax number, blah blah blah, 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 blah. and here, you know, uh, this uh, T S S three, okay. Uh, the red, let it be data uh, zero one dot com, okay. Thank you. Now click this continue button. Again, what to do? Go back. Right? You go back. And uh, you again go back. Now you select this one. Click address your know, location. Now this where all the address you need to maintain. Okay. Uh, go four. And now you select the company. Okay. And here. Data solve storage location uh, four okay TSS uh, four let it be uh, mass of time this go down address is mass of time TSS four okay and here uh, and here confirm here and here one okay blah 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 continue this and now try to save this okay so what we have done we have created four story location for each plan so each plan consists of two story location right so here we can see see here 
TAS2 is having TSS3 and TSS4 for education. And if you go again, try to click this TS, TAS1. Okay, so you can able to see TSS1 and TSS2 to school education for this TAS1. Okay. So we have created a uh, uh, we have created plant and we have created a uh, square location and what else we need to create a purchasing organization right purchasing organization purchasing group okay let me complete this okay so it's very easy so here it is we maintain purchasing organization any anyhow I've given you the menu part also how to create a purchasing organization and how to create a purchasing group okay. So here it is, uh, purchasing, creation of purchasing organization, click maintain purchasing organization, P4808. If you are going with the menu part, this is the menu part, or then you use OA08. So maintain, select, but maintain purchasing organization. So here, just click here, do this. And uh, what was that? Uh, anyone? What was that by purchasing organization? What we have written? See the structure, the press structure. What do you have written, Prakash? Sorry. Hey, today last night, sir. Hey, just in the middle. I am not. Sir, in last night. SP zero one. SP, yeah. Hey, SP zero two. SP zero. Ah, what are you writing? What do you have? TS. TS zero one. TS zero. TS. And TS zero two, huh? Two, no? Okay. Three years zero one. Three years zero one. And uh, three years zero two. Okay. Here, Tata purchase organization one. Okay. Tata purchase organization two. Okay. So it's very simple. No address for this. Okay. Okay. I have created a purchase organization also. Okay. Yeah. TBS one, sir. TBS one, huh? What? Why we have to call this one? Man? Why you are saying that? No, I was confused, sir. Um, Prakash is right. Prakash, what you have written here? TBS one. TBS one. TBS one, huh? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, 01 okay, is the so plant. Yes, one. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm deleting this. Again, I'm going to create. Okay, tell me what was the P? P, S1. P, S1. S1. So the P, S2, right? So Tata Purchase or 1. Tata Purchase or 2. Okay, shall I have created this. Now, Creation of uh, last one, creation of purchasing group, right? The last one. So, here, how you will create everything I have given you the middle part, okay? So, there's another material management here. Go here, material management, okay? I've given you the menu part in my notes, so don't worry. So, this homework I'm giving you, so you just uh, uh, try to create uh, the whole enterprise structure is finished, you know, after creating this. So click this uh, purchasing part. Okay. And then click creating purchasing group. Create purchasing group. So as I told you, it's a three digit alphanumeric code. Okay. Not more than three. See here it is four digit, it is four digit alphanumeric, it is also four digit and company code is uh, four digit and uh, company is uh, six digit but here purchasing group is three digit okay not more than three with one digit also you can able to create a purchasing group okay so here go to new place okay so name of individual person like you know hamza hm and giving here a description and i will give hamza purchasing uh, yeah, hamza So here is mobile number, okay, fax number, 
name of individual where you know we can retrieve uh, this information and so basically in real time who will create the who will create the purchase order the end user so actually we need to put the end user name telephone number not the consultant but as of now this is demo version we have to, we have we have picking our name but in real time who is going to create the po purchase order uh, end user so we need to maintain yeah so we need to maintain end user address not our just here i'm simply putting but it doesn't mean that we are going to create the purchase order okay the end users address we are we are maintaining here okay so here let's say on the one two three at the red gmail .com. yeah so this one i have maintained another is uh, prakash pra jyoti prakash so his mobile number his tax number and his uh, telephone number okay and here extension that's it so i've created such as all which is our last part in enterprise structure so after this our next part is assignment so i'm going to show you how assignment assignment is nothing but linking enterprise structure Let's say, for example, you have manufactured a train bogey, okay, and you have manufactured train engine. Then after that, what you need to do? You need to link, right? Without linking, how come you make bogies? You know, twenty-one bogies. You know, you will you are attaching with the engine, right? Similarly, here also we have created a company, we have created company code, and we have created the plant, we have created the Uh, story location and we have created the purchasing organization and we have created a purchasing group but we need to link this all until and unless we link this we cannot uh, we means uh, the end users cannot able to create the material cannot able to create the plant okay uh, sorry uh, purchase order cannot able to create the vendor as per their company address so i have mentioned here what you need to do is you need to link That is called assignment part. So this till purchasing group we have finished. Now assignment. It is linking of enterprise structure in SAP. So you need to link this all. Then only your enterprise structure is completed. And then you need to do the testing scenario. In testing scenario, I will show you tomorrow. We will be getting number of errors. So we need to resolve it. Testing scenario. We need to check whether. Tata company and plants purchase organization and purchase group is working fine or not. So in that case, there are five testing scenario. We'll try to create a material with MN01, and we take the plant, not the basic one, but whatever plant we have created, we will create. Uh, we'll select that plant and we'll uh, select the, our store location, whatever in this plant we have created, and we need to check whether this uh, material is going to create. With this plant and store location, okay, and then number two testing scenario we need to create the vendor. I mean, we need to check company code like a T, whatever company code we have maintained that is working fine or not, and purchasing organization whatever we have created that is working fine or not in vendor master. And then number three, this is the third testing scenario. We need to create the purchase order with any twenty one in transaction code, and need to check whether our purchasing organization and purchasing group Hamza and uh, Prakash and company code, you know, with the material and uh, this combination is working fine or not. Plant our plant which we have created right now and our storage location which we have implemented right now, uh, and check whether the PO number ten digit is working fine or not. Okay. And then we need to create a GR code system with micro transaction code. I need to check whether everything is working fine with our enterprise structure or not. Okay. Till now, what we done is we have created, uh, we have taken all the default uh, plant and uh, default which is already available in demo version, right? But now we are not going to do like that. We are taking our own plant which we have taken, which we have configured. We are taking our own storage location. Okay, we are not uh, using any default plant and default storage location which is there in demo version. Okay, 
that is what the testing scenario and at last we create the invoice invoice ir with Miro transaction and to check whether our own enterprise structure that data is available and uh, this is saving or not okay so multiple errors will be occurring so i'll we'll see what kind of errors will be there so that it will be easy for you to also you know when you uh, do uh, testing yourself you will be understanding this type of errors you know it will come and uh, you need to resolve it how i'm doing okay so we'll continue tomorrow any doubt till now anyone no sir okay then so i'm stopping the class so we'll continue tomorrow Okay, I will.